Hello and welcome to this lecture. Today we are going to study about the basics of complex analysis, complex numbers. At the end of this lecture, you will have a better understanding of all these topics listed here. So, let us get started. First, we have a complex number. Let us start with the solution of problem. Let us say we have x square plus 1. This equation equals 0. When we solve this equation, we will have x equals under the root minus 1. This under the root minus 1 is not a real number and it is called as iota. It is also represented as i. So, when we multiply this iota with the real number, we get another number and that number is called an imaginary number. So, let us say we have a real number as 2. When we multiply it with iota, we get 2 iota and 2 iota is an imaginary number. Similarly, we have under root 3 and when we multiply it with iota, we get under root 3 iota. And under root 3 iota, this here is not a real number, but it is an imaginary number. So, when we add and subtract a real number with imaginary number, we get another number and that number is called a complex number. For example, 2 plus 3 iota Similarly, minus 1, minus 1 by 2 iota and 2 plus and root 3 iota and similarly, minus 3, minus 4 iota. These are all the complex numbers. The complex number is generally denoted by z and it is written as x plus iota y, where x is the real part and y, iota y is the imaginary part. We can write it as real part of c equals x and imaginary part of z equals y. Now, let us move toward the next topic which is organ diagram. Let us say we have a complex number which is z equals x plus iota y. This complex number can be written in Cartesian coordinates form as x comma y and when we represent it on coordinate form, let us say we have x on the real axis and y on the imaginary axis positive x and positive y. When we represent it on the coordinates, here it is x and here it is small y. So, the point where they intersect each other is called x comma y which is equals to z, a complex number. This is the organ diagram. The representation of complex number on a coordinate system is called an organ diagram. Let us take an example. Let us say we have a complex number equals 2 plus 3 iota. Here 2 is a real part and 3 iota is an imaginary part. Let us display it on a plane. So, we have 1, 2. Let us say it is a positive x axis and it is a positive y axis. Similarly, 1, 2, 3. The point where they intersect each other is as 2 plus 3 iota. This is the representation of a complex number 2 plus 3 iota on, on a coordinate axis. Now, let us move toward our next topic which is modulus of a complex numbers. Let us say we have a complex number z equals x plus iota y. The modulus of a complex number is represented as modulus of z or small r. The formula for the modulus of a complex number is written as real part of z which is the real part of a complex number square plus imaginary part of z square whole under root. This is the formula for modulus of a complex number. Let us solve an example. Let us say we have a number as z equals 2 plus 3 iota and we need to find the modulus of a complex number z equals 2 plus 3 iota. So, let me write it here real part square plus imaginary part square 
whole under root. So the answer of this becomes 4 plus 9 whole under root which is equals to under root 13. Now let's represent this complex number on organ diagram. So here we have this is the positive x axis and positive y axis. Now we have 2 on real axis and 3 on imaginary axis. So how will we represent a number 2 here, 1, 2, 3, 3 here. The point where they intersect each other is the point where we can say that this is z equals 2 plus 3 iota. It is the distance of a point from origin. So origin 0, 0. This is the modulus of complex number. This line represented as small r or z modulus. Now let us move toward our next topic which is argument of a complex number. Let us say we have a complex number as z equals x plus iota y. Now as we represent this complex number on coordinate axis here we have positive x and here we have positive y axis. So let us say this is x and this is y and this is the point where they intersect each other x comma y then the line which joins from origin to that point is modulus of a complex number r. So this line is y x and this line is x. Argument of a complex number is the angle theta from positive x axis to the point where x and y axis meet each other. So the angle theta from this line to the positive x axis is called an argument of a complex number. It is represented as tan theta equals y over x perpendicular upon base where theta equals tan inverse y over x. Let us solve an example. A complex number z equals 3 plus 3 iota. So we need to find the argument of a complex number, this complex number. So we have tan theta equals, what is the imaginary part? Here it is 3 and what is the real part? It is also 3. So let me write it here. We have 3 over 3. Theta equals 10 inverse 1. The value of 10 inverse 1 equals pi by 4. So the theta comes out to be pi by 4. This is the argument of a complex number. Now let us move toward our next topic. Conjugate of a complex number. Let us say we have a number, a complex number as z equals x plus iota y. Now, now we need to find the conjugate of this complex number. The conjugate is represented as z bar and iota y whole bar equals and it is given as x minus iota y. As you see that we only changed the sign of this complex number x plus iota y. So this is the conjugate of a complex number stated here. When we find the conjugate of a complex number, we only change the sign of imaginary part, but not the real part. Let us solve an example. Let us say we have z equals 2 plus 3 iota and we need to find the conjugate of this complex number. So z equals z conjugate equals 2 plus 3 iota conjugate, which is given as z conjugate equals 2 minus 3 iota. This is the answer. Let us take another example. Let us say we have z equals 4 minus 3 iota and we need to find the conjugate of this complex number which is represented as z bar equals 4 minus 3 iota whole bar equals 4 plus 3 iota and this is the required solution of this complex number. This is the conjugate of this complex number which is written over here. So that is how we find the conjugate of a complex number. Now let us move toward our next topic which is addition and subtraction of a complex numbers. Let us say we have two complex numbers as z1 equals a plus b iota and z2 equals c plus d iota. We need to add and subtract these two complex numbers. What is the rule of addition? When we add these two complex numbers, the rule is add real part in real part 
and imaginary part in imaginary part. This is the real part and we need to add this real part with this real part. And similarly, this is the imaginary part and we need to add this imaginary part with this imaginary part. So let's do this. A plus B iota plus C plus D iota. So we have Z1 plus Z2 equals A plus C plus iota B plus D. Take iota as common. So this is the required solution. Now if we want to subtract these two complex numbers Z1 minus Z2 equals then similarly like addition rule we need to subtract real part from real part and imaginary part of a first uh, complex number to the imaginary part of a second complex number. So the answer we will have as A minus C plus iota B minus D. So that's our required solution. Let's solve an example to get a deep understanding of this solution. Let's say we have two complex numbers Z1 equals 2 plus 5 iota and Z2 equals 6 plus 3 iota. When we add these two complex numbers Z1 plus Z2 equals add real part and real part so 2 plus 6 plus imaginary part and imaginary part take iota as common so 5 plus 3 so when we solve it further that's 8 plus 8 iota that's the solution of this complex the addition of these two complex numbers now let's discuss the subtraction of these two complex numbers so z1 minus z2 equals we use the similar rule 2 minus 6 plus iota similarly subtract these two complex numbers 5 minus 3 so this will have z1 minus z2 equals minus 4 plus here we will get 5 minus 3 equals 2 so 2 iota that's the required solution of these of these two complex numbers. So let's move toward our next topic which is multiplication of complex numbers.